Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with a uh, new challenge run in the long dark. And we're in transfer pass, looks like. Okay. So I'm playing with the Relentless Night mod. And let me... Here we go. So days and nights, well, nights will get longer at a rate of 20%. Endgame start day is day 33. Permanent Aurora at endgame, yes. And endgame is perpetual night. <laughs> so, yeah. We have 33 days until the sun no longer comes up. And at that point, minimum air temperature is going to be negative 60 C. So it's going to be cold as hell. Outdoor temperatures affect indoor temperatures. Yes, they do. We can move carcasses. Uh, electric torch lighting. That lets me light torches off of live wires. So there's a few places I need to go before it hits perpetual endgame. One of those is Carter Dam, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get through it. Um, fire heat retention, yes. So after the fire goes out, interior spaces will remain warmer for longer before they cool off because, well, you just built up a bunch of warm air inside the building. Realistic freezing damage when it gets super cold will actually take damage faster which makes sense. Instead of it just being a set rate, it's, yeah, going to get worse. Uh, and by day 120, wildlife is going to be at 10% of normal. And fish will be at 20% of normal. And then fires, lanterns, and torches will all burn twice as long. I upped that one. It was at, like, 1.5 times as long. I just figured 2, you know, 2.0 is just a good, you know, number. And one of the other things I'm going to be doing... Let me grab some stones while we're here. Is if I can craft it, I have to craft it. And I've got a few mods installed to where you can craft a lot. So if I want to use any knives at all, I have to craft an improvised knife first at a forge. If I want to craft, you know, use any hatchets, I have to craft the improvised hatchet first. After I've crafted the improvised version, then I can go ahead and use the uh, the normal versions. But, like, clothing and whatnot, the only real clothing I'll be able to equip or to, to to use is shirts. Oh, I only have a hat or... Okay, I need to find a sewing kit. I don't have a hat or gloves. That's a shame. Uh, but shirts and socks are the only things I can really equip that I find in the world and whatnot. Everything else, I have to craft. And that includes even thermal underwear because, yeah. Thanks to the Leatherwork mod and to Northfolk clothing, there's actually craftable versions of uh, thermal underwear. So. And because I can, one of the things I'm going to be doing is signal void. Now there's some maple here. That little squeak, man. Still can't quite get used to it. All right. Um, I don't have any way to cut down the maple, though. But I need to remember there is maple. Two maples right by the cave entrance here. And because exterior temperatures affect interior temperatures, there are no real safe spots. Hey, feed water cave. Is there anything in here? At all, no. Sometimes I think you can find like a bedroll in here, but not this time. So the first thing I need to find is a hacksaw. Because hacksaws are, I think, one of the few tools. Which I think it's the only tool that is not craftable. Um, things to forge blueprints, I can make pry bars, I can make heavy hammers. So both of those things I'm going to have to craft. What type of wood did I get anyway? Cedar? Okay. I need a piece of fir wood to make a uh, heavy hammer with.
And even guns are craftable. So I'm going to have to go to Bleak Inlet or Black Rock to make guns before I can use them. So, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, hello. Loitering Marsh, huh? Okay. Uh, frostbite risk, of course. I was kind of hoping for the bedroll, because if I can get into a warm spot, you can get, I think it's like 10 or 12 cloth from a bedroll when you scrap it. I'm not going to scrap the one I started with. That would just be silly. But, uh... Having that extra bit of cloth would be really nice. Of course, pretty much any clothing I find, except for shirts and socks, I'm going to basically just scrap anyway. So. Right. I need some coal is nice, actually. How's my frostbite risk doing? It's not bad. Okay. Is there anything in the back? No. Okay. This will come in handy. Okay, that's a piece of cured leather. Nice. Lighter. Lighter is good. Anything? It doesn't look like there's anything in the back and the trunk is locked. So I'm not going to bother checking under the hood. I hear you over there, Tarmigan. Alright. Now inside, it feels like 11 degrees. Good news is, whip some water. And some matches, it looks like. Okay. Also, okay, I can't turn the lights on in here. Uh, one of the mods I have installed is uh, indoor lighting, I think is what it's called. And it lets me turn like these lights on by hitting a light switch. But apparently, it's not been updated for the uh, Tales from the Far Territory stuff. Yeah, it's more leather. More leather. Okay, nice. No sewing kit, though. That's not ideal. And we're going to add a piece of coal to that. Oh, it gets nice and toasty in here. There it goes. All right. Well, that's those anyway. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make some bandages because, well, I don't have any. I can harvest you. I'm going to lose some meat, but that's fine. Actually, no. Yeah, see. <laughs> I want to make sure the fire doesn't go out. It didn't harvest anything when I stopped it. Huh. 
19% of the meat was lost. How much longer we have? Half an hour on you. Okay. Um, half an hour. Cool. I need to check out the back door here, too. Yeah. There's usually firewood right there, so. All right, so 40 minutes on that. Okay. How much time is on here? 46. Let me go ahead and add that. And then we'll take this. Oh, and that's a crappy torch, too. Great. Uh, with a Relentless Night mod, the torches actually take 20 minutes off the fire because of the increased burn time of the fire. So, you still get the same amount of torches per piece of firewood or whatnot. All right, let me grab that. Flare, okay. We'll go up this wonderful conveyor belt. Dog food, pork and beans, okay. Whetstones, I can craft, so I can't take that. And... Well, we got some scrap metal anyway. Hmm. I hate this part. Sprain my wrist. Oh well. We'll get us a tarm again. Where are you guys at? Anyway. Over this way, okay. There you are, okay. Alright, well, there's that anyway. I can grab some of this as well. Tails.
All right, let's go back to main station. Wow, that fire is seriously strong. What I could do is actually make a scrap metal shard. It's a makeshift knife. It'll work for carving up birds anyway. But at least I won't lose any meat doing it this way. But since it's a modded item, then, uh, I missed boiled. Okay. Ten minutes to craft some tinder. Uh, it's modded item. It doesn't have the proper, you know, animation. Half an hour, huh? Uh, let's go ahead and throw that on there then. Let's see pretty much anything else. Okay, requires hatch to break down. Okay. You know what? Break down this towel, get some cloth out of it. How much longer on our meat? 15 minutes till ready? Okay. It's the same amount of time if I use the knife or not. Two hours, 40 minutes. I'm sure, why not? Let's do it. Okay, now it's actually getting cold in here again. Because the thing went out. Uh... See, it's a long way to Forsaken Airfield from here to the actual, like, airport itself. Uh, I don't need the fat. This stuff can stay here for now. My other option is to go to the Zone of Contamination. I don't want to deal with the toxic wolves either. Because <laughs> I have no weapons. So I have, you know, a really crappy torch and some rocks. These. Oh, hey. Cool. If I had a hatchet, I could break down the barrels. I could get wood and scrap metal out of those. But yeah. Nothing I have right now. I might find more ptarmigan on the way up here. I think there was a spot they could spawn up here as well. So I got a decent amount of water. All right. Um...
heard you. I mean, I could grab acorns too, I guess. I think you can cook those in a can. All right, well, that is enough to get myself some improvised insulation, which will be a huge help, I think, right now. As cold as this world's going to get, I might have to rock double insulation and just forget about having a moose hide satchel. <laughs> Feels like 32 in here. Okay. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Okay, well, that's something else I can shred. Anything else back there? Okay. I mean, it's relatively warm out today. <laughs> Just, I have really crappy clothing. I, I have, like, almost no clothing. Oh, it's cool how you can actually see the bits of the sweater underneath the dress shirt, though. I don't wear dress shirts, so I didn't realize it would do that. <laughs> Stones, good. Feels like 21 when I'm out of the wind. But now we're leaving Transfer Pass. I guess I could have gone Far Branch Rail Line as well, but... Mm. That's a long trip, and there's really not a whole lot of loot on the way. Stop that. There we go. Hmm, come on. Actually, that tree's not good anyway. All right, fine. me up too steep okay whatever you know what I'm not gonna mess with it Oh, don't do that. Freaking. I don't even know where that stone went now. Oh, all the way over here, huh? Wow.
can't feel my hands. There you are. You know, for being dead tired, I'm actually moving at a pretty decent speed. I did manage to warm up a bit, so it's actually warmer here than it was in Transfer Pass, which is nice. Now up there is Tarmigan, but yeah, I'm not gonna worry about him. Hey, now it's getting colder. <laughs> Wind picked up. All right. Making progress there. And up oh, there goes my hypothermia risk. So used to being overburdened with stuff that this is appealing unnaturally fast. Feels like negative two. Yeah, the wind really picked up, unfortunately. I guess you can technically go down this and get to shelter quicker, but in this weather, no. I will, uh, yeah, we at least turn. Um, I will stick to the known path. Where I can at least be somewhat safe. Anything else around here? Okay. I do have a ptarmigan and a rabbit on me, so I'm kind of smelly. But at the same time, it's also, you know, food. And so. And right now, food is going to be really important. Yeah, I've just got a couple cans of, uh, Stuff I really wish, you know, shouldn't be eating because it's pretty low on the uh, durability.
Alright, shelter. Okay, well, we have a camp bed here. Fog food. Now, the thing is, the storm lanterns are craftable, so I can't use that. Feels like exactly 32 in here. Hmm. There we go. I don't think there's anything else in here, really. Oh, well. Call me a liar, huh, game? Okay, let's see. Yeah, nothing to craft with. Okay. Let me go ahead and harvest these. Twenty minutes to harvest, huh? Um Yeah, why not? I'm making water anyway, so. Actually. I have some cattails. Let's eat these. Nope, nope, nope. Stops. I'm um, sorting by weight is why. Okay. Yeah, that would do it. All right. Harvest. 22 minutes. That would be fine because it takes 40 minutes to cook water right now, so. You know, let's go ahead and drop that and that. 12 minutes to boiled. minutes okay um that's 40 that's 30 god really Get out of the way rabbit 20 okay Thirteen and twelve. Okay. How long does it take to do one feather? Forty minutes. Okay. Go ahead and make some more bandages, I guess. Fire's going out. Yep, fire went out. Two minutes. 
Well, in the meantime, you can go there, right? Because that'll cure. Do that. Let's go ahead and have a soda, I guess. Give me some extra calories. And we did get a decent amount of sticks, so. Got a gallon of water. That's more than enough. Uh, let's see. I can see a little bit better in here now. And I don't see any extra coal in here. Four hours, six, okay. Sleep for six hours, I guess, right? All right, so it's almost dawn. Not quite. Go ahead and Throw a book on there, too, because books are kind of heavy. It's going to take, what, two hours and something? Two hours, 40 minutes. Come on. All right, let's go ahead and sleep another two hours here. Two hours, 40 minutes. Okay. Hey, sun's up. Sweet. <laughs> it's a blizzard. Ah. Hopefully the blizzard will be gone soon. That'd be nice. Yeah, that was a bit much to ask for, wasn't it? Oh, hello. That'll help. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any more sticks or anything around here, so back into the shelter we go.
More rose hips. Hooray. Alright, um... Bark noodles! Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> it's only 200 calories, but it's food. see. Yeah, there's really nothing I can craft either. Come on, Blizzard, go away. Seriously. Alright, is anything else, like, spawned out here now? Sticks, tree bark, any of that? Well, the wind changed direction. Yeah, I got nothing to, to break that down with, so. How many stones do I have now? Ten. Okay. I have enough to make a whetstone. I have nothing really to sharpen, but, you know. Neither here nor there, so. Nothing back there? Okay. Uh, I'd be a lot better shape if I could just, you know, have a sewing kit, <laughs> to be completely honest. Wind just changed again. Feels like two. Alright, well, anything up here? Like nothing. I mean, there's there's a car, right? I mean, that's, that's kind of about it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Not seeing anything in the back, though. Okay. All right, sweet. You know, I think I'm going to try 
keep track of stuff like this. Alright, me, I guess, have a couple more of these. Thirty minutes. Or I can move improved insulation. This these two here though would be good for preventing frostbite. Let's go ahead and make gloves, I guess. There we go. Stylish. Look at that. All seven degrees now, finally. Alright, and I have some shoes I could break down, but I don't have anything else. Gonna harvest the arrow, I guess. Stone. I'm I'm just killing time now trying to get this stupid blizzard to go away. Yeah, you know what? We're done with this. Any chance of any more coal in here that I missed? Uh, this is probably a huge mistake leaving, but... Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> I ramped off of something. Okay, was this locked? Yeah, it was, okay. Oh, the wind's dying down. Oh, wow. Cool. Seems like it would be a damn stupid idea to go across a tree bridge like that in the middle of a blizzard with high winds. At least I'm getting some fire supplies, so that's a plus. I need all the pluses I can get right now. Much longer? 40 minutes, okay. About another 20 I can drink another tea. And get another warmth bonus out of it. But wait too much longer than that, then my teas will have gotten cold and then it's a moot point. Nothing up there. A 
it's somewhat tolerable once I'm out of the wind. I didn't count it out of the wind, though. <laughs> Oh, wind changed again. It was blowing, you know, towards my back, and now it's over there, so. Did I say a hey? I think I missed the window. Oh, no, it's still hot. Okay. There are some acorn trees here. So I guess I can grab some of these. Oh, frostbite risk. That's going to be on my ears, right? Yeah, yep. Alright, well, we're at the Junker's Paddock anyway, so... Somewhat sheltered. Good amount of coal. I'm quite happy with that. Forty percent that will probably give me food poisoning. I have horrible luck with sardines. I really do. So Hey, sweet Polaroid. Nice. Hmm. You know, propane would still be good if there's any left. actually warm inside. We actually have a workbench. And a bed. Poppy, nice. Uh, no can openers though, huh? That's everything then. 
I can't break down that pillow, so. I can make for right now. So, t shirt, let's go ahead and scrap that. And fleece mittens can be scrapped as well. Improvised head wrap. At least I have a hat that way. You know what? Let's make two. Now we're back up to plus seven warmth bonus again because. Point one, because it's wet. At least it's only wet and not frozen. So, yeah, point three. It was at point nine before it got wet. So, food. Oh, 53. That might work. Might not get food poisoning off of this. I do have a Rishi tea in case I get food poisoning. So, uh, we do have hunger revamped. Uh, so,. If we get food poisoning, it won't kick in right away. It's like that damn blizzard finally ended. All right, cool. At least we're warm inside. Yeah, we're at plus nine. Uh, still not tried. What is it like outside? Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to wait till it's light out though hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer because my next shelter is going to be the airfield itself I need seven pieces of cured leather. Hello. Uh, to make the uh, flight jacket. Aviator's coat or whatever it is. But yeah, there's all sorts of stuff we can make here. Um, I mean, we can even make like the minor stuff. I just need tarp sheets for this. For the jacket and the pants. Yeah, turp sheet. Patchwork blanket needs 10 cloth. Okay. Yeah, flight jacket. I have five out of seven cured leather. I need some string bundles and cloth as well. And a workbench, which we have, but, you know, let's... Uh... Gotta smash it open. No can opener. Fifteen percent was lost, but that's okay. It means I got eighty-five percent of it. Uh, 
No more water. There is a fire barrel outside I can start a fire in. But I have to be outside for that. So I'm warm enough inside, it's not an issue. We are now cold inside though. I'm warm inside the bed, but other than that, no. I do have flares. I've got three torches. That one's pretty good shape, too. 41% is not bad. I could try repairing my shoes. I don't have any cloth left, so I can't repair my sweater. There's no curtains in here, so. All right, what's it like outside? One degree, yeah. To do 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 right. Guess I can grab some sticks for firewood. There's some bark I could prep up too, I guess. There's a dead deer. Hmm. I think of 25 winds, though. It's blowing too hard for me to make a fire close to the deer. Any feathers around this guy? Let's look like it. Hmm. Alright, well, let's head back to Junkers. Nice and vibrant today. The Aurora, I love it. One of the best parts of the game. Alright, yeah, nothing around here, so... What's my defense at? 5%. Not really all that great. I love how the headlights are different colors. Brad Papel's halfway there. Probably going to leave those in here. Because I can come back and get those at later when they're cured. But the the gut's going to be kind of smelly. I'm going to try to sneak past wolves. Oh, Aurora just ended. Okay. What do we got for food? All right, nothing really. 
How much tree bark do I have? Ten. I'll have to kill like an hour. Food is problematic. Me sleep for like two hours. Fully rested. Let's have some water. We're actually warm in here again now, which is good. Means it's warmed up a bit outside. Although I can hear the wind howling. It's not terrible, though. I thought that was a container at first. Gonna get excited. Oh, hello, bunny. I have no stones. <laughs> Turn them all into a whetstone. Thank you. How bad is it? Negative one. The wind is what's killing me here. Coal would be the greatest way, but I want to save that for forging if I can. Oh, I've got a ton of sticks. Okay. Okay, the wind's dying down a little bit too. Good. Yeah, it looks like that's as hot as that fire is going to get. Feels like 25 now. Three, two, 33. There we go. Now we're warming up. Okay. and frozen. Okay, fine. Placed on the cooking spot I wasn't looking at. Forty five percent frozen. Okay. Eleven percent. Okay. Uh, I do actually have enough rose hips to prepare some. So, up, oh, starting to snow. That is just lovely sounds, isn't it?
Okay. Alright, so I get the hide anyway. I don't have any guts on me. I can get those later. I'll actually... I'll take like an hour to get the guts off this thing. At least the wind's pretty much died down. Alright. Hour and twenty... One hour with the... With the knife. Might as well get the guts curing, right? Food, I've got some fried bark. 20 calories per piece. That was really not worth it. Bark noodles are the way to go. It would be 80 calories of fried bark versus 200 calories of bark noodles. So. Should put them back down when I was harvesting the guts. Oh well. Nothing else, it's just one less thing I have to micromanage. kind of picking up again. Good news is I do have flares, so. In case the wind does get bad enough to knock my torch out, I can at least, you know, scare wolves away. Speaking of wolf, right there. Hush. Oh, thank God. <laughs> now I can actually scare the wolves away. I didn't have any stones. I completely forgot about that until I saw that one.
All right, moving on. Now, I have nothing really wrong with me, so I could probably just use the torch to scare the wolves away as is, yeah, by itself. See another wolf up there. I thought. Still burning, man. Did you go out now? There it is. Just wanted the stick back. <laughs> yeah, if you're in good shape, you can just walk up to a wolf with a lit torch and they'll run. As long as you're not encumbered, which I usually am, so I don't bother with it most of the time. Amber Aviation. That's more cloth anyway. Oh, thank God we got socks. Nice. Another flare. More leather. No. One out. <laughs> thank you. Wait a second. Is that like... Would you quit trying to put the damn torch out? That almost looks like there's something there, but... There's a freaking stop. Just... It's the door. All right. I think there was something on the ground, wasn't there? Mm, nope. Okay. Okay. Nothing else. Nice. Toolkit. Toolkits are handy.
More leather? Nice. Hey, revolver bullets aren't bad. Mm, another Brayer House truck. Cool thing is when I'm in a vehicle, I'm actually warming up a little bit. It burned out on me. Oh well. I think I can use this. Another lighter? That's not bad, I guess. I mean, you only really you only need one, so. Oh wow, trunk's actually unlocked. Anything in the back seat? This one? Nope. Okay. Let's go to the gatehouse. Nothing in here. Uh, I think the wolves just killed something. I didn't hear what died, but I heard the wolf barking, so. There he is. Killed a rabbit. Okay. It's a goddamn freezing. All right. Yeah, we're kind of. Kind of cold in here. And now we're not. And third lighter. Okay, sure, why not? Ah, oh, the wind's picking up, isn't it? All right, and oh, well, my hypothermia risk is gone anyway. Cool. Hey, cool sweaters, nice. Does need to be repaired, but it's still warmer than the dress shirt was, so. Okay. That's two thick wool sweaters. Like third best shirt in the game. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Oh, nope. Bad timing. Can't 
cold and wild. <clears throat> <sighs> A blood stain on the table. Oh, look at that. Heavy hammer that I can't use. <laughs> Lighter number four. Hello, Wolfie. Flat shells aren't bad, I guess. Can I not like scavenge that piece of cloth there? I'm sure I can do this one, but. Oh my god, what happened to my frames? <laughs> Yeah, my frames, like, died as soon as the fog started. And the sound, yeah. Sound is all weird. Sweet. Oh, the stomach. Ah. Oh, uh. oh, oh, the venison got me. Wow. That's how long it takes food poisoning to set in. I'm playing Somnia Risk at. Not great. I need to sleep for 10 hours now, too, to get rid of the food poisoning. Alright, was there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's put the gun away for now. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Do 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 do. Don't mind me, just taking my dog for a walk.
Yeah, he's a pretty good distance back there, so I'm not too worried about it. I think he might have given up, actually. If I don't pull him up soon. Nope, nope, he's still back there. Oh, we got a hacksaw. Nice. Everything is taken care of then. Now that I have a hacksaw, I can get scrap metal, we can forge things, and yeah. I mean, seriously? Frickin... Really? It is... A glimmer fog, right? Why aren't the lights on? Also, there's a flight jacket right here. Well, I'll just keep that in my pocket for now. Drop that at least for now. Actually, no, I should keep that on me. Sleep 10 hours, get rid of the food poisoning, warm up, get some rest in, yada, 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 so on and so forth. All right. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, we're getting a little framey, so I think it's time to restart. Man, I could use a drink. Electronic parts. I don't think I have been any need for those. So, But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.